As the name of this session suggests, it's mainly about supporting the professional development of those actively involved in the youth work field. This activity is not primarily dedicated to young people, but to those actively supporting young people, youth workers, youth work volunteers, project managers and trainers. We would like to briefly define what youth work is and who youth workers are before we go into the details. Youth work is commonly understood as a tool for personal development, social integration, and the active citizenship of young people. The main objective of youth work is to provide opportunities for young people to shape their own futures. Youth work involves carrying out activities with and for young people, which are of a social, cultural, educational or political nature. Youth work belongs to the domain of out-of-school education, most commonly referred to as either non-formal or informal learning. Youth work can have various specific goals, depending on the context and needs of the young people in a particular area. Youth work goals and ways of achieving them often depend on the organisational abilities and competences of the people involved in youth work services. Who actually carries out youth work? The key person is a youth worker. A youth worker is a qualified adult person who works with young people, mainly during their free time. The youth worker focuses on young people's personal and social development, both through working with a young person individually or working with youth groups or communities. Youth work is often not carried out by youth workers alone. In many cases, there are a number of volunteers involved, along with project managers or trainers, who provide competence development programs for the youth workers or young people. So if you are actively involved, either voluntarily or professionally, in providing youth work or non-formal learning opportunities for young people, you will undoubtedly benefit from taking part in or organizing a youth workers mobility project. The projects carried out under the Mobility of Youth Workers subsection aim to promote the professional development of those actively involved in youth work. Professional development should be linked to some kind of mobility. Either a person travels abroad or takes part in the activity in their own country. Either way, the activity should involve peer learners from other countries. The professional development can take various forms under this subsection. Whether you are a potential organiser or a participant in a youth workers' mobility project, everything should stem from the actual professional development needs. Let's look at some possible examples. Imagine that you would like to develop skills in using new methodologies of working with young people, share and exchange ways of carrying out youth work with colleagues from other countries who are involved in using similar methodologies, for example, using theatre techniques to empower young people. Find partners for new projects which would increase the opportunities for your young people to get involved in new learning. Explore how youth work is organised in another country. Observe and actually try working together with your colleague in another country. Depending on the need, you can choose what type of mobility project is the most suitable. Organisations can find their own unique format for professional development. However, it should match the predefined formal criteria, which will be explored later on. <laughs>